Hello. The purpose of this tutorial is to get you started with the new version of AND Engine, which is referred to as AND Engine GLES2, which was released on December 24, 2011. There's many new features and advantages to using the new AND Engine, some of which are listed here. But there's one important note to consider, which is that the new AND Engine does not work with the emulator in Eclipse. And that's because the emulator in Eclipse cannot handle OpenGL2.x. Now, the previous version of AND Engine is still good if you desire to use the emulator. And if you're interested in that, you can view one of my old tutorials regarding the previous version of AND Engine. But if you want to use the latest version of AND Engine, I'll show you how to do it. First, you need to make sure that you've downloaded the latest Android SDK, which is R16. That also means you need the latest Java JDK, and you also need the latest version of Eclipse. I use the top link right here. And the advantage to the brand new version of Eclipse is that it includes by default Git functionality, which is what we need to download the extensions. So, to get the extensions into Eclipse, we need to first visit the new Git website, which is right here. You can take note of the URL up here. And each of the extensions are listed in blue on this site. We need to go to each extension and grab the Git URL, which can be found here. Copy it. Come back to Eclipse. Go to File, Import. There's now a Git option, and choose Projects from Git. Next. Now I've already downloaded some of the extensions, but to download the remainder of the extensions I need, I just paste the URL right here. Choose Clone. Next. Next again. And you can have the Git uh, download the extension anywhere you want on your computer. It doesn't matter where it goes to. I personally prefer to have it downloaded into the Eclipse workspace. Click Finish. And you can see it's downloading that extension. And you have to do this for each extension. So I'm going to go grab the next Git URL. I think the one I need next is the augmented reality. It's the last one that I'm missing. So again for each extension you grab the unique URL for that extension. Come back. Now it's already finished downloading the first extension. I'm just going to replace this URL with the next URL. Choose clone. Next. Next. Again you can leave this path alone. I personally prefer to put it into the workspace. Click finish. And you do that for every extension that's listed on this site. Each one has a unique URL. You need to paste each of the unique URLs into here and clone each of them. Once you've done that, you can click cancel. And then to get the extensions showing up in the left side pane here, we go back to file, import, we still choose Git, go next, and one by one we choose the extensions. So I've got the first one, go next, next, and finish. You can see it show up there. We're going to start having errors show up here, but we'll take care of them shortly. So I have to import each of these extensions. And I like to do the examples last, and the reason for that is that with the new AND engine, we're dealing with library projects. And the nature of library projects is that all the extensions are linked to your project or linked to the examples as library items. And so that's why I like to get all the extensions into Eclipse first and then bring the examples in so that it, when it's trying to look for the extensions as libraries, it can find them.
and I'll show you a little bit more about the library in a moment. Now while you're doing this, if you start to see errors down here that reference something like Android 12 or Android 13 or Android 15, if there are errors like that, then that means that you forgot to install the correct API levels uh, when you downloaded the Android SDK. And actually I'll show you quickly the API levels that I've downloaded. Um, I've downloaded all the tools, uh, API level 15, API level 14, API 13, and I also grabbed, wait let me just undo that, API 10 and 8. So again, I've got level 15, 14, 13, 10, and 8. If you installed all of those when you installed the Android SDK, then you should be good to go. Okay, I'm just going to import the rest of these extensions. And then the examples. Alright, so to get rid of some of these errors that we saw up here, on each extension you need to right click, choose properties, go to Java compiler, check this box, and set the compiler compliance level to 1.6. You need to do that for every extension. Okay, so once you've set each extension to compiler compliance level 1.6 you need to make sure that each extension has a folder called res so you need to right click on each extension go to new folder and type the word res for the name so you see it now as a res folder that's needed to avoid some of the errors so each extension new folder called res Okay, so set all of the extensions to compiler compliance level 1.6 and given each extension a res folder, you'll see that there's no more errors on any of the extensions. And right now, you're able to launch the examples. But remember, the new version of AND Engine does not work with the Eclipse emulator. So you will need to connect your phone to Eclipse via USB cable and then you just right click on examples choose run as Android application and if you want to see what's happening on your phone while you're running the examples uh, for debugging purposes um, you would go to the DDMS perspective here and if you don't see this button then you just click this icon here and you'll be able to choose DDMS from here so when you go to DDMS you want to select your phone and when you do so the log cat down here will show you everything that's happening on your phone. Now, if for some reason the examples fail to launch on your phone, as you see the error right here, it means that you have an old copy of the examples already on your phone, and you need to uninstall the old examples off of your phone before you can install these examples on your phone. That's what this error means right here. Now, just so you learn a little bit about library projects, if we look at any of these ex extensions, for example this one, and go to properties, and go to Android, you'll see that this extension is a library, and it's also using the AND Engine uh, extension as a library. Furthermore, if you look at the examples, go to properties, Android, you can see that the examples are using all the extensions as libraries in here. And that's how the new AND engine works right now, by using library projects. Okay, in my next video I will show you how to create a brand new project from scratch and you make use of some of the extensions and incorporate one of the examples into your own project.